the smartphone wars are heating up again as two new phones hit stores today. That is the RIM's newest BlackBerry, the Torch. It features a sliding uh, keyboard in the latest version. Uh, also, the latest version of Motorola's Droid, the Droid 2, is out as well today. And what I was going to say about the BlackBerry is that it's a, a touch screen as well. Ross Rubin, uh, he leads the NPD Group's coverage of consumer electronics, joining me on the show. And again, Ross has brought me um, a nice toy. Uh, you must have, by the way, like a, a closet full of just um, I just samples. call myself all day long. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> right. Okay, and I want to just hold this up uh, for you guys because uh, this is the BlackBerry Torch. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, the... The key feature was, um, here, let me get my hand out of the way, um, the, the, uh, the sliding keyboard, right? So you've got this physical and this also, uh, you know, touch screen way of, of typing. And then um, there you go. And uh, also, I noticed it was a cool thing, right? If you turn it around, <laughs> it's supposed to. Yes, it does. It's supposed the to go, screen go horizontally. Yes. You know, am I having a Steve Jobs moment? Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, so this is supposed to, I guess, close that design gap with um, Apple's iPhone. Mm -hmm. uh, does it? Well, it's certainly a step forward. You know, uh, RIM's first touchscreen device, the BlackBerry Storm, uh, did quite well uh, on Verizon, but uh, had certain design weaknesses. Uh, this really is more in keeping with the traditional BlackBerry design uh, with that physical keyboard that BlackBerry users really enjoy. Right, and there's this um, statistic out that I thought was really interesting I read earlier this morning was um, Nielsen uh, came out with a stat that, look, BlackBerry users, I think 42 percent, uh, would not, you know, for their next phone, would not pick a BlackBerry. Mm -hmm. um, however, this, it's different for those who are using the Droid and, and using the uh, iPhone, where actually I think it's something like 70 percent or over 70 percent would go back to that same, uh, you know, that same model. And so what is, what's wrong here? Well, certainly in, in the second quarter, NPD saw Android move past RIM uh, to become the best-selling smartphone operating system in the U.S. Uh, and a lot of what's been driving that is certainly a lot of support by Verizon. Uh, the Droid 2 launching today is the follow-up to the original Motorola Droid, which was a huge seller uh, for Verizon. And Verizon has really gotten behind Android in a big way to uh, try to compete against the iPhone. That's really driven a lot of the volume. Uh, driven a lot of the volume. And, uh, you know, but hearing you rattle off, some of these, uh, you know, you know, talking about iPhone and Droid and, and BlackBerry, but you almost get the sense. I mean, for the consumer, uh, they're almost becoming inundated now with new models, right? I mean, isn't that now starting to be the risk in some ways? Well, it's true. There are uh, a lot of high-end smartphones now getting into the portfolios at AT&T and. Verizon, and it's really no longer the case that there was one clear best phone, feature phone, featured handset uh, at, uh, at those carriers. But isn't the BlackBerry, I mean, still the dominant one in the business world? Uh, it's certainly very popular, and that's really the context that you need to look at this device through. It, it brings the BlackBerry platform forward, but retains that security, reliability, and efficiency that uh, its users have really valued. Well, are they, but, you know, but is, 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 is Apple, though, making inroads in that? Though. Well, I it's mean, certainly advancing its platform, too, to be uh, more uh, uh, more useful to, to corporate users, uh, really right. beefing up a lot of those features. It, it still hasn't taken hold yet. I mean, you know, essentially every executive you, you know, you're with, I mean, they're always, they've always got their BlackBerry. <laughs> uh, it's the iPhone that's just more fun. Um, okay. <laughs> Ross, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Ross Rubin, the Director of Industry Analysis at the NPD Group.